Hey guys, how's it going today? It's going to be my monthly favorite. So the favorite products that I've been loving this month, and I actually have quite a few, and my intro last video was super long, so I'm just going to jump in and get started. Um, first thing I have is a face product, and this is the Urban Decay um, Pore, Pore Perfecting Complexion primer potion looks like this this stuff is amazing I just got this a little bit over a month ago and I'm telling you it's a pink consistency and it's very similar to all the um just all the primers that are out there they're um it's very silicone and thick um but it just it feels really nice and it just leaves your skin um really like poreless and stuff like that so it's an amazing product I really really like this and I've been using it all month long and um, I love it it's an amazing product next product I have a blush and this one is by Milani if you can see that and this one is called a Dol Dolce Pink it's a one of their baked powder brush blushes I can't talk today sorry guys and it is beautiful look at that I mean let me swatch it for you I love this color it's actually what I'm wearing today and it's just so pretty look at that look at that reflects the light I mean it's just so pretty I really really like this blush I've been wearing this blush a ton this will look good on any skin tone as well because it's very very good it's very pretty Next product I have is a mascara, and this is the Benefits. They're real. At, right now, I have the full size, but I do have the, the the big size. I just ran out of it because I've been loving this, and I actually got this in my last month's Ipsy bag, and that's what I took traveling. This um, I love this mascara. What is very unique about this mascara is basically the wand. If you could um, basically see the wand. It's very different. It's rubbery. It has like bristles towards, like pokey bristles towards the end. It's very unique. It's what I have on today. You can see it's just, it's really, really good mascara. I love this mascara. It's amazing. It doesn't clump on my lashes. It gives you volume. It gives you length. It separates really well because of the bristles of the mascara. I mean, I just cannot say enough good things. It is on the pricier side. It is, you know, by benefit. So obviously it's a higher end product, but I think it's totally worth the hype and worth the money. I love it. It's amazing mascara, um, especially if you have really small lashes. This will help you really get in there to kind of lift them up. So it's just, I really love this mascara. It's amazing. And um, I actually, I have to go pick up a new one of these because I really like this. Pro uh, I can't talk. I'm telling you, I cannot talk today. Amazing mascara. I have two um eyeliners and they're both by Jane Cosmetics. And these, I found them. Um, I found them in Ulta like a couple of months ago, like a, like two months ago, I found them in Ulta and I, and I had gotten them because they're supposed to be very similar to the Stila waterproof color eyeliners, which I love, but they're on the pricier side. So these, I believe they were, um, at least, I think they were like $8. They were $8 each. And then they had a sale going on that if you buy one, they give you the other one half price. So I was like, okay, let me, let me give it a go. And the two colors that were very, um, appealing to me was this purple, which I, oh my God, I love. Actually, this purple is what I was wearing in my last video in the, um, what was it? My haul. And that's what I was wearing. And this blue one is just, oh my God, you guys. Look at that. Look at that blue and that purple. The blue especially, it's beautiful. The blue is called, they're water resistant. Um, I can't find the name. Oh, it's called Sky Blue. So that's Sky Blue. And then the purple one is called, uh, if I could just, Purple Lilac. That's what this one is called. So they're supposed to be water resistant, um, very similar to the um, Stila, again, waterproof um, eyeliners, but these are much affordable and they're amazing quality. They blend really well if that's what you're trying to do. They blend 
really nicely and you still get good pigmentation out of them so I'm really impressed with these um, liners and I actually I want to go get more of these because they have a bunch of different colors like funky colors too they have like a lime green and like weird yellow and just I know it's not like an everyday type of look but I still think that would be fun to have in your collection when you're trying to do like fun different looks so I definitely want to get more of these, but I, I've been loving these eyeliners. They are amazing. Really, really good quality for the price. I was just really impressed with them. And then speaking of eyeliners, I had the L'Oreal um, Carbon Black Infallible 16 Hour Never Fail Eyeliner. So this eyeliner, it's in Carbon Black. It's just a basic black eyeliner. I have like no more places to swatch. I like it that it's very black. It has a smudgy tip on the end, so you can smudge. Um, but the the reason I love this is, one, it's mechanical, so it goes up there, so you don't have to be sharpening. Because let me tell you, I hate having to sharpen my pencils, because sometimes if I'm not using the right sharpener, what will happen is that it won't sharpen right, and then I'll get, like, funky edges. And I, especially if you're doing, like, lip liner, when you need a precise, like, line, it... Ugh, it's just a hot mess so I like these that I don't have to sharpen them they kind of sharpen on their own and you just pull them up and they're great and it's what I have on today as liner it's really easy to blend it it goes just really smooth really nicely the stain power is great um I haven't tested it out for 16 hours but I have to say it does last on me all day long which I love it doesn't fade it doesn't smudge or anything like that so this liner I've been loving so much um this is um the next product I have I only have two more products to go I'm trying to go as quickly as possible because I don't want this video to be super long um it's by Bare Minerals and this one is the um their matte SPF 15 foundation I, I have mine in golden fair w10 and i love this powder it's so so smooth and it's very um it's very yellow base you can see that it's very yellow base which i love because it works amazing under your eyes um to set my under eye concealer that's exactly what i do i put a little bit of this just in the especially where i want to highlight and to have like a very flawless look this is um the the foundation powder that I've been using it sets my under eye concealer and it does not budge it does anywhere it's amazing I really 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 like this um a funny thing I had bought in this a long time ago when bare essentials was just like at its hype and it was totally like everybody was all about it and I bought it and I never used it because at the time I was using it as a foundation and I love full coverage foundation so it was just not cutting it for me I just didn't like it so I put it in the back of my drawer and I just kind of left it there well um a couple like two months ago I was going through my collection and I had run out of my powder that I had been using for like ever and I was like well let's give this a go one more time and I used it and I loved it I don't know what I have been doing without it it's amazing it's an amazing um powder I really really like it I'm happy with my skincare lately that I have not been buying um different skincare products and um once I find something that works amazing, I do like to try new things from here and there, but usually I stick to the same stuff because it's what works. Um, but I did try the Avino, Avino Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser with Moisture Rich Soy Extract, and this is supposed to help even skin tone and texture, and it's supposed to have five factors of radiance. So that's what this looks like. Um, this stuff smells so good, you guys. It smells clean and fresh, but but it just has a good like plant smell. I don't know. It just it smells really good. It's a very um it's a gel thick consistency, which I love. I love gel cleansers, and the reason I love them is because I feel like they really um get in there and they lather up really nicely, which is something that I love. Oil free. It's soap free. Um, it's not supposed to clog your pores or anything like that. So that's just a bonus thing that I really love about this. So that's that. Uh, I have one last item. And it's also skincare. And it's the um, MAC Moisture Studio Moisture Cream. That's what that looks like. This I've been using as my moisture, especially, well, not at night, but in the morning right before I put on my makeup. I do my cleanser. I do my toner. 
and then I'll put this. Why? Because it's super thick. It smells really good. It smells like MAC. All of MAC stuff smell really good. So it's just a very thick, creamy um, consistency and it feels really refreshing on your skin and it preps your skin amazingly for pa uh, primer and foundation. Even if you don't want to use a primer, which most of the time I don't use a primer, um, I'll just use this. Like I'll cleanse my face like I said and do all my skin, morning skincare routine and then right after that I just put this and it preps my face amazing foundation so I've been loving this so so much um I have used this before and I remember I liked it but again I decided to use something different something new and I um I came back to this and and I really 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 like this stuff it works great especially because I have really dry skin so I feel like it just works great for my skin Okay, we are finally done, and I'm sorry that this was as long as it has been. I really tried to go through this as quickly as possible, but I just wanted to make sure I got my favorites up because I hadn't done it. But um, the that's my I gotta I gotta go, guys. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye. Sorry, guys. I had to run outside really quick. Um, my cable and my internet finally is getting installed. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's only been like a week without it, but it's driving me crazy. As you can probably assume, if you are don't have internet and cable, you could just feel my pain. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to, I uh, just wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Like always, my blog will also be linked. And yes, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. So yeah, until next time, bye guys.